I just wanted to talk about how we chose what wood burner to, uh, to buy for the chateau, because the room's pretty big. Uh, the house in winter gets pretty cold. Um, we installed some uh, double glazing. Uh, so this is this room that we're in now has got four windows. Um, they're all six foot high at least, and they're, um, two of them are double glazed and two of them are not single glazed, the old original glazing. So we really needed something uh, to heat this room up. And I've seen a few uh, other YouTubers uh, talking about how they installed their wood burners and they sort of, they tend to leave the choice of the wood burners sort of almost a chance. I see them popping into um, DIY shops and picking them up from there. And I'm thinking that's probably not gonna work out. Uh, and the reason why is because if you've got a really large property, uh, you're gonna need something that you can't pick up. I mean, you literally can't lift it. It has to be heavy. It has to be solid cast iron because you really need that thermal mass um, to heat the room. Uh, so, for example, the one we've got behind us, uh, this, this thing is 200 um, kilograms of solid cast iron. You can't pick that up from a DIY shop. We had to get it delivered and it came on a crate, in a crate. Uh, so moving it around and installing it is a little bit tricky, I have to say, but you have to go to those lengths. Um, if you're gonna do it yourself, it's a bit tricky, but you can get someone in and they'll have all the right um, equipment to move it around. We ended up using silly um, furniture, uh, trolley wheels to move it around. It was quite, quite a mess, uh, entertaining uh, to get it done. Um, but it needed to be done. Uh, and the one that we've got also, uh, the reason we chose cast iron is because uh, not only have you got a really solid thermal mass which acts like a storage heater and helps really hold the heat once it gets up to temperature. The other reason is it's not going to warp. Um, so what will happen if you've just picked up one from your uh, DIY store, the likelihood is if you can lift it, it's made of mild steel and what will happen with mild steel is after a while it's just going to warp and you'll end up with a sort of wonky wood burner and uh, it isn't going to be good because it's going to start leaking and it isn't going to hold uh, the smoke very well. And uh, anyone that's had a, a performance exhaust on their car will know that, uh, will have experienced a stainless steel manifold, for example, where they just warp after a very short amount of time. Um, it's because they just can't cope with the heat. Uh, so you want cast iron. Another thing you're going to want to look for is the heat energy output. Uh, so this one is um, 11.9 kilowatts. So that's equivalent to roughly six radiators. Um, uh, so that's a nice high energy output. Uh, for this room size, um, it really does heat the room up uh, pretty nicely. Uh, another thing that's probably worth uh, uh, investing in is a wood burner that has a side uh, entrance to stick the wood in um, because what will happen otherwise is you, you open up the, uh, the front door to stick your wood in and the, the room is going to full of smoke which isn't really very good uh, so having a side entrance is much better uh, on top of that you're going to want one uh, some of these it's not that common actually uh, you're going to want one that has uh, a slider to open up the flue uh, slider you're going to want one that has a way to open up the flue at the back when you're putting the wood in because what that'll do uh, is it'll allow all the smoke to just go straight up the chimney uh, instead of uh, coming out back at you into the room um, and that's going to be really good for um, particulates and just soot and, and stuff that you really don't want in your room uh, when you're just uh, reloading the fire. So here's, uh, here's ours, you've got the, the little side entrance door there and you've got your um, way to open up the flue is you just pull on, pull this back and a slot opens up in the flue. And uh, well then when you open your door, your room doesn't fill with smoke. There's nothing coming through there at all. That's really nice. And close, it, close it back up again so that uh, the heat doesn't just go straight up the chimney. Uh, because that's another thing that will happen. 
and you want the heat to stay in uh, the wood burner. Another thing that's worth mentioning is just the positioning of it. Uh, so we've got ours, as you can see there, it's, um, it's quite far out of the chimney uh, because you want as much as possible for the, um, the heat radiating out from this thing to come into the room and not go up the chimney. Uh, so having it out as far as you can get it is good. There's still enough space there on the, um, the hearth such that the, uh, the ash doesn't fall on the floorboards, which is nice. Um, yeah, so pull it far, as far as you can out um, and that's the best way to sort of situate it. Get all that heat in the room. What you can do is, is, is if, you can't, um, if you can't get it out of the fireplace enough, you can buy these sort of little uh, fans that you just stick on the top. Uh, and people swear by these um, because they sort of blow, then blow the heat off the fire um, and into the room out of the fireplace, which can be a way to do it if you just don't have that access.